Robert A. Kyle, Professor of Medicine, Laboratory Medicine and Pathology, uh, Mayo Clinic, Rochester. Uh, in, incidence of monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance and estimation of duration before first clinical recognition. It will be published in a forthcoming issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance or MGUS or MUGUS or MGUS is a common phenomenon in medical practice. <clears throat> it is defined as the presence of a monoclonal protein in the blood, but no other evidence of a plasma cell disorder. The patients have a monoclonal protein in the serum that is less than three grams per deciliter and a bone marrow examination that shows fewer than 10% plasma cells. In addition, the patient must have no clinical features of multiple myeloma, such as anemia, renal insufficiency, bone lesions, or hypercalcemia. It is common in clinical practice in that 3% of the white population above the age of 50 years has an MGUS. 5% of the population above the age of 70 years has a monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance. As I mentioned, this is asymptomatic and is found only by chance. In short, it is recognized when a clinician orders a serum protein electrophoresis to investigate anemia, renal insufficiency, elevation of the calcium, or bone pain. We found in this study that only 20% of patients who have an MGUS were recognized with routine clinical practice at the Mayo Clinic. The other 80% we identified in a previous epidemiologic study of residents of Olmsted County, Minnesota. The frequency of monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance in the general population at other institutions, I suspect, would be considerably less. Over the last 50 years, I have been encouraging my colleagues to order serum protein electrophoreses in order to recognize a monoclonal gammopathy. The other point that is made in this study is that the presence of a monoclonal protein is actually in the patient much longer than we had anticipated. Clinically speaking, a physician would assume that the monoclonal gammopathy has turned up in the last month or two, or at least the last several months. However, we found that the duration of time in a male patient aged 70 years, we found that this person had an MGUS for more than 20 years. During long-term follow-up, we have found that 1% of patients per year will progress to multiple myeloma, AL amyloidosis, Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, or a related condition. Many patients are very upset at learning this initially, but I sometimes tell the apprehensive patient that they will not have any difficulty with the monoclonal gammopathy in 99% of cases during the next year. This is reassuring to 
the apprehensive patient. The patient with mugus should not be treated if there is no other symptomatic plasma cell disorder. However, the patient does need to be followed periodically to make certain that they have not developed one of the plasma cell proliferative disorders. We have developed in other studies risk parameters that will identify the approximate risk for patients based upon the risk factors of size of the monoclonal gammopathy, the type of monoclonal gammopathy, that is patients with IgA or IgM monoclonal proteins are more likely to progress than those with IgG, and the third major risk factor is the presence of the free light chain level in the serum of patients with MGUS. My colleague Dr. Thurno will tell you more. Thank you. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.